context of, of this game, first of all, being um, the season, you able to just talk us through some of the changes to start and line that came down to injury, what was taking another look at players? Uh, yeah, it's a difficult couple of days on that front from Thursday. I was expended a lot of energy. Richardson injured, was injured going into the Palace game. He played with it. Uh, Andre Gomez was injured, Adam injured, has been for a while. Um, so those two were out, other players already injured. Um, some players were on the bench today. Shane has been, on his, been fighting through stuff for the last month, it's been incredible. And he deserves a rest today. Um, Tom Davis comes back after not playing for a very long time. He got around and shooting the warm up that he went to fight through, but it was too difficult in the end. So, you know. It's not excuses, it's just reality. Our, our big final was on Thursday and we won it. And um, today I think it's just a, another step a little bit too far. The second half, we were in the game at half time, but the second half, we saw even the goal, three set pieces, is uh, it's concentration issues. I'm not being in the right position and not dealing with things. And I think that's probably a reflection of, of the lads being a little bit like after Thursday. I was going to say, do you think you'll learn anything from the performances on the pitch or anything? But is it more just a case of it was just a step? It's a difficult game for the players, to be fair, and Arsenal are playing for something when the game starts. And, um, and as much as we tried to focus what the intentions were good in terms of the dressing room before the game, but, you know, there were some nice individual things. I thought Tom did well considering he's been out for a long time, he hasn't played any minutes and had to come here and play. I thought Dominic did well. I've got to say, Dominic sometimes for him was a difficult afternoon in the moments he really showed his power and strength and the system well. Um, so there were some little cameo bits in there, but I, I don't think it's anything for me to really um, shoot on too much there. The, the, the issues, I mean, not the issues, the, the reflections will be on the whole three and a half months towards the cabinet. Thank you. What are those reflections? Also, uh, the next three and a half months, I mean, that's, it's a longer review for you, but your immediate feeling at the moment is what? My immediate feeling is absolute delight and relief that we kept the club in the league. Um, from the first hour I came to the club, uh, in, when you come in season, no, nobody knows on the outside. Nobody knows on the outside. And I'm not sitting here just to sort of make a big case for how, how what situation we were in. The confidence was low, form was low, in the, in the direction that would have taken us down in terms of uh, results. Uh, injuries have been bad throughout. And um, that stayed in the first game, first week, I lost two big and a half. So th there were lots of things. So there were things that I can actually say, well, they, they happened and they, they were very difficult to fight against. And there were things I'd say, well, yeah, we can improve. And the thing when you come in this season is you just go game, game, game. You're just trying to find ways to win games and get points. The, the good thing about reflection and the pre-season now is that you can actually work for more on things you want to work on. So it'll be, it'll be good to reflect a little bit, suck that up, and, and see how we can um, improve the squad to get better and hopefully not be in a position next year. Um, it has been a very difficult season, Frank. Because of that, do you give yourself time off to reflect and allow some of it to go? before you start thinking about next season? Oh, absolutely. I need, I need, a, I need a break. Um, I need to see the wife and kids a bit more. And um, I, I really look forward to that. But I, I suppose the manager's life does continue in, in certain terms. The phone does stay on. There are things we need to try and work on pretty quickly to, to look at the squad and how we can improve that. But yeah, for sure, myself and my staff, we all moved up. It happened like that in the end of January. And we worked very hard. And then I think we, got, we certainly got the, the result that we wanted and that came on Thursday night. And now we have to um, regain a bit of freshness to go again in July. And how long do you give yourself? Well, the, the team will be back at the, the beginning of July, the first or the first of July around there. So that time is time away from from each other, and um, I think that's what we need. So I'll, um, as I say, I'll be switching on my head throughout that time, but I won't be at the bench farm every day like we have been for the last hundred or so days. Frank, it must have been uh, quite a stressful time in the last few months, probably. I just wondered how different you think you are as a manager now compared to when you first started this job. Um, yeah, diff different. You you learn, and I think that the the experience of a relegation battle is, is different to my previous managerial um, experiences. Derby, getting to a playoff final, different. Um, Chelsea into the Champions League positions. There's a lot of pressure, um, but the pressure of relegation battle is much bigger, and. Um, and you can't walk away, you can't not, not understand that at the time. So I think you, you learn a lot about yourself. Um, I've been pretty happy with how I've dealt with that, to be honest, because a lot of people question what's time happened. It must be terrible, it must be hard. I've actually found it really enjoyable on the work side um, and pretty stressful, but when you get the results you've got on Thursday, it kind of makes it all worthwhile, and I'll take stock now and think about all the things that I've, I've learned 
learned a lot in three and a half months about the self, about the club, about the squad, and try and implement them in the best way I can going forward. And just when you say you can have a break, what are your first priorities when you come back? Um, to get the players fit and robust, because our injury record when I came in and what we've had is, is, is one that affects you. Two big centre halves out for a big period of time. I haven't really seen um, Yeri and Ben for for bigger enough amount of times. Um, Dominic. So each individual case, when you look at it, they're not, they're not easy to analyse. But the big picture means we have to get this squad fit and robust. And I came in in, in January. In January, there are not things you can always do when you're playing every few days. But there, there has to be more plans about how players work in the gym, how they maintain themselves, their maintenance, their strength. We have to be a strong, robust. It's Everton. It's not. We're not a ticker tacker team. We have to be a strong team. Um, that's the first thing. Have been reports in the last few days about Burnley and Leeds maybe taking legal action against the club? Mm. I know it's not in your arena, but how concerning is that that going forward there could be some sort of further punishment? Um, to be honest, I'm, I've been so concerned about relegation that, that it hasn't been part of my thinking at all. And, I, and as you sort of alluded to there, I, I don't have any. Um, Knowledge of it in detail. To, to, so um, I'm not personally concerned. Would be my answer. And I know the club work closely with the Premier League and have been doing for a long, long time. So I will leave that to the people that know much more about it. Do you do without a few weeks? You just had. Yeah, like maybe, but like I, it, it, it would be like you know getting so tense and, and stressed about something you don't know, and it may not happen. Or it may end up. That's certainly it's not the time for me to feel like that. You know, it's not. I think what we did is. This, this year in staying in the league it was a big deal, it was a huge deal, I've been concerned about that, so I'm not going to give myself another concern, I can't say it, I'll try and just not think about it for a bit. Hi Frank, as a player you've obviously thrived under pressure, do you feel as though as a manager that that's the same, or do you feel as though as you look forward to the summer, you, after rejuvenating, you feel as though you're going to be much better at the job, do you feel as though it's down to the pressure that you thrive best as a manager or after rejuvenating? Yeah, I, I think you do thrive on pressure. If that's, I've been in the game a long time, so um, I always did as a player and, and as a manager. I've been, I've been pretty lucky. I've been pretty successful in my in my co early coaching career to get good opportunities to actually get good success, relative success. I felt at the clubs, and now this is a completely different challenge. So I think every manager learns, even the best. You know, Pep Guardiola and Europe probably will learn a lot about themselves and their players, and, uh, and I've certainly learned a lot about myself. And Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.